So hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now as I am making this video, the Labrador Retriever DLC has just gone live in The Hunter Call of the Wild. So I decided that I would make this video and give a little bit of a review on the Labrador Retriever DLC. Now obviously I have had some time to play with this during early access and I did do some more playtesting today just to see, you know, how things were and how things were working out still and I do have a few opinions and a few things I want to talk about with this DLC. Now overall it's a nice DLC. I will start off by saying that. It's a nice addition to have to the game. The Retrievers are something that a lot of people have been requesting for a long time. Since the Bloodhounds were released, people have wanted to see more different dog breeds in the game, and the Labrador Retriever was definitely a popular request. Now, the fact that this DLC is coming out at a time of year where we would normally be expecting to see a new great one, a new map, stuff like that, it is a little disappointing that we are only seeing the dog and nothing else in terms of this update. And I had to start off by mentioning that as I know that that is going to be a large factor for a lot of people when looking at this DLC is the fact that this DLC is in place of what we would normally expect of a much larger update where we'd get new species, a new environment, all of that good stuff that comes along with a new map. So that had to be mentioned at the very start of this video. But now moving on to talking about the DLC in and of itself, talking about how the dog performs and my thoughts, feelings and opinions on it. So as I started off the video by saying, it's a nice addition to have to the game. It is nice to finally have another breed of dog available to have and it is nice that we do finally have retrievers in the game. Is this a DLC that is absolutely necessary to have though? Is this something that you really need? In my opinion, no. In my opinion, the usefulness of this Retriever DLC is very limited. And there's a few factors that go into that which we're going to talk about. But to start off with, in my opinion, this isn't a DLC that you absolutely must have. It is something nice to have. And don't get me wrong, I like having it. But it isn't absolutely necessary. You must go out and buy it immediately sort of thing. Now... There's a couple of factors, like I said, that go into the reasons that I feel that way. One of them is that the range for the Retrievers is extremely limited. Now, Artemis here, my Retriever, she is actually above level 15, and she does have the trait that allows her to go further in search of harvests to retrieve. But even with that, she seems to only go to just under 120 metres away, and then she will stop. So even with that extended range, we're not even seeing 150 meter retrievals. Now, I was hoping for 150 meters minimum. So to not be seeing that, I think is kind of frustrating. And I feel that way purely because, as you're going to see, I've got several ducks on the ground here that we're going to be sending Artemis out to retrieve. And a nice feature that I've talked about in the previous video with the retrievers is if you have multiple class 1 animals on the ground within retrieval range, you only have to do one retrieval command and your dog will go out and pick up all of those harvests one after the other and retrieve them for you. Now, talking about that though, it takes a long time for the dog to go out, pick up your harvest and return to you with it. So much time that if you've got multiple animals led out on the ground, you're probably faster just going and picking them up yourself. And that was something I really felt as I was watching her do these retrieves, is that I could have just gone and done it myself and it probably would have been quicker because I can just pick up multiple birds that are led next to each other rather than having to send her out each time, wait for her to go and pick it up and then wait for her to like return with it. So that is something that again I think affects the usefulness of it obviously that's something that you would expect and it wouldn't be such a problem if the dog could go these further distances but seeing as the distances that the, the retrievers can go is only so short and the retrieval distance is only so short you may as well go and pick them up yourself a lot of the time is how I feel about it talking about the animations the animations are pretty good However, you're going to notice some stuff while she's actually doing these retrieves. 
when the dog gets into shallow water, it does this jumping around animation that is just way too overdone. It looks really buggy and weird, and it just really doesn't fit. And it's really unfortunate because most of the animations are pretty good, but this one, it just... It ruins the whole dog going into water thing for me. It just looks really silly. And I really, really hope that they either choose to sort of tone down that animation and maybe make it happen way less often or just remove it like completely. Because as you can see, it just looks so weird. It, the dog doesn't need to be jumping around like this constantly in the shallow water. Like jumping into the water once, yeah, that makes sense. But constantly over and over again, it just doesn't look good. So that's something I hope they change. Now moving on to my final criticism of the Retriever DLC and once again we're kind of talking about retrieval range but we're talking about the actual retrieval mechanic itself. It feels very static to me because of the distance because I have actually sent the dog out to retrieve something. I've seen the dog walk past the animal, it's been that close but technically that animal has been outside of the retrieval range so the dog walks past it and doesn't pick it up. I feel like the dogs need to have like a detection range where they can actually sort of, if they can see a harvest, if they're within 20 meters of it or something like that, that they will still pick it up even if it's technically outside of that static retrieval range. Because seeing your dog go next to a harvest and then not pick it up and then you move 10 meters closer and then you send it out again and then it will pick it up. Just that kind of ruins the immersion for me. And I had that happen several times and I thought it was a bug initially where the dog just wasn't detecting the harvests. But every time I noticed that if I moved closer, then the dog would pick it up. So I w worked out that it was a, a problem with the retrieval range being that static of if it's not within that set distance of retrieval range even if it's a meter or two over the dog will just ignore it and then return without the harvest and for me like i said that feels way too static if the dog is within a certain range of a harvest i feel like it should be able to pick it up even if it's technically outside that distance now one final thing that is more of a, a wish than a criticism about the retrievers is I hope they change and tweak the animals that the dog can collect from being just class 1 animals to animals within a certain weight range. Because the dogs can pick up things like turkeys but they can't retrieve things like raccoons because raccoons are class 2. Any class 1 animal can currently be retrieved by the retrievers but any other animal cannot be. And that doesn't really make sense when things like turkeys are heavier than things like raccoons which are a class 2 animal so I hope they change it to be weight based rather than class based that's something that I saw a lot of people hoping for as well so maybe that's something that can be changed in the future and I have my fingers crossed for that but finally Artemis is here with the final duck finally took quite a while for her to go and retrieve all of those so we'll just give her a little play reward here and then collect our final duck after all of those retrievals. She did a good job, I'm really happy with her. Now, after the Labrador Retrievers officially released earlier today, I decided to take Artemis into multiplayer in search of trophies, and we actually found something that I have been looking for for absolutely ages. That right there is a leucistic tufted duck drake. I have always wanted to see one of these ever since i saw the first pictures of these get posted not long after revel Tuli coast released i have wanted to find one and one actually showed up i couldn't believe it i was actually sat here waiting to try and get a level 3 widgeon to come in again unfortunately it came in the first time and landed right behind artemis i tried to shoot it got the invalid target error because it was so close to the dog it took off and it never came back but this guy actually came and landed 
and just made up for losing that widgeon completely because I have had diamond widgeon in the past. I have never had one of these beauties. And if you know me, you know how much I love these small game rares. They are just so incredible, especially these rare ducks. They look so beautiful. And Artemis retrieved it nicely there for us, which is just so, so cool. This is going to be why I want to actually use the dogs, is for moments like this to get the dog to go and retrieve special harvests and i was super super happy about this we're gonna get a trophy picture with her with the duck so got her to sit there and then you can just sort of nudge them over so just nudging her into frame and she actually led down which made for a much better picture and i'm just so so happy about this this is something i've wanted for so long such an incredibly gorgeous bird retrieved by a very beautiful dog because the models are really really good looking and i'm really pleased about how detailed the models are so a beautiful dog retrieves a beautiful rare i mean just look at this purple and green in the neck absolutely stunning and he is a gold leucistic absolutely fantastic i could not have wished for a better bird to show up in that couple of hours where i was doing some recording before making this video just absolutely fantastic now before we finish this video we do have a giveaway to do thanks to expansive worlds i have one steam code for the labrador retriever dlc to give away now like i said this is a steam code so you will need to be on pc and have this game on steam in order to be able to use this code now all you need to do in order to enter the giveaway is comment giveaway and what you would call your dog if you do win the labrador retriever dlc in this giveaway now this giveaway will be running for 48 hours after i post this video so you can time it exactly two days after i post this video i will close the giveaway i will enter everyone's names into a random wheel and whoever's name gets picked by the random wheel will win this dlc code if you do win i will respond to your comment and let you know and then you will have 24 hours to respond to me so that we can get this code sent to you if you do not respond within those 24 hours i will re-roll the giveaway again and pick a new winner so you will have to respond within those 24 hours after i have run the giveaway so that i can get this code to you and we can work out the best way to get the code to you it can be through discord it can be through an email just whatever works but that is how this competition is going to work. So 48 hours after this video gets posted, I will enter everyone's names into that random wheel. Whoever wins, I will contact you. You'll have 24 hours to get back to me and then we'll work out a way to get the code to you. Pretty simple and yep, that's basically all there is to it. So again, a huge thank you to EW for allowing me to do this giveaway by giving me this code. It's very, very much appreciated. But that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so, so much for watching and for all your support as always. If you're getting this DLC today, I really hope that you enjoy it. If you are going to be entering the giveaway, then good luck. Now, I would really appreciate if you do share this video around so we can get as many people into the giveaway as possible. I would really appreciate that, but no pressure at all. But that is going to be it for this one. So thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.